Liz, can I, can I go back to Francine Lacroix's interview with Jamie Dimon? One of the things that he said within that interview, and I think I've heard him talk about this in the past, I personally wouldn't buy sovereign debt anywhere now. What do you think of that? Uh, look, I, I do not like disagreeing with Jamie Dimon. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. But I still do like sovereign debt in the U.S. I think that there's probably room for yields to move down as we go through this cycle and as we try to figure out whether or not the market is right about what the Fed's going to do or whether the Fed is right about what the Fed is going to do. And if we are headed for some more stress and more slowing in economic activity, I would expect to see a drop in yields. There are also some contradicting signals out there, things like the copper-gold ratio, I tweeted about this today. The copper gold ratio has broken down, which usually sends a non cyclical signal, meaning that there's some slowing of growth or contraction coming. The 10 year yield tends to follow that. And right now, there's a pretty big gap between what the 10 year yield is doing and what the copper gold ratio is doing, which would suggest that the 10 year yield has room to move down further. So I still like treasuries in this environment. I like short term yeah. treasuries more than long term. But I do think that the whole curve can come down a bit.